Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Japuji Jams, the podcast named after Japuji Heroes. That's right, <laughs> spelled the same, said differently. <laughs> exact same word, I'm here with Zen. Hello everybody. And it's been a very long time because we were both really fucking busy as soon as Boruto hit. So yeah, this... it just shit happened, and then also we don't really care about Borto, so like the incentive yeah. to get it out so we could talk about Borto was not high. Yeah, we could have in theory maybe tried on like a another day, even though it was a little bit pushing it. We only have like two days out of the week that we can realistically record together. Um, we could have potentially tried for another day, but it's Boruto, so we just don't really. Yeah, have... rescheduling for Boruto, like, come on, man. Yeah, it's kind of like, eh, maybe it depended if it was someone else, but you know, neither one of us are really feeling Boruto that much. So we're just gonna very quickly go over the units we got here um, and talk about them. So first one first, because he's just fucking gone. There wasn't a Rochi Maru. <laughs> he's long yeah, gone. He was around for a minute, and then he was now he's gone. <laughs> Yeah, gone forever, never to be seen again. What did he have? Did he He's have, actually like... pretty good. Yeah, that that's what I remember you saying because you were angry that is like I can't believe they made him so good because now I want him. He he's the the hundred and seventy percent healer for or not hundred and seventy percent, hundred and seventy thousand healer for red. Like your girl like your ice skater girl is for red. Yes, blue, yes. And Naruto was for green. And we actually had a conversation about this in the chat where I was like, the healing that you get from Ice Girl alone already felt super oppressive. Now it's to the point where there's two of these types of characters, and I actually don't know how a... There's three. There's three of these types of characters. I just don't know how you deal with them, because they really do just gain yeah, so it's, much HP. It's a lot, yeah. Um, between, like, dealing with units that the oh my god dude i played a team earlier today i oh i want neither one of us hit zero i won by having more health at the end neither of us hit zero hp and it was done via uh he all he did was heal with like crazy strong healing units and then he uh did like endeavor and stuff <laughs> take my buffs away so we were just like scratching each other and and over healing every turn it was miserable yeah that that was my main thing of like I feel like there's been strong units being released for sure, but I don't think any of them that are strong enough to like 100% offset the healing that these dudes do. And it's usually just one well, plus, unit. They all have crossover with another healer that's good. Like the ice skater girl has the, the snake kid mm -hmm. from uh, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Yeah. Naruto has Boruto and uh, Orochimaru has Kakashi. Yeah, it's real... Like, I've it's, recovered over 300,000 health in one turn before. Yeah. yeah. It's insane how much HP. It's very rare for me nowadays to fall below even half HP. Like, I, I usually end it with either 100% or 75%, and that's depending on the enemy, really. And if I... Like, I'm, I'm hitting into... It's ludicrous. It's really crazy. It makes me feel like at some point they're going to have to start releasing units to deal a little bit more damage. But at that point, it's a little bit of a slippery slope. Actually, it's pretty funny because the units that you usually save for the end, they end up doing less damage now, right? Because isn't it based off of um, how less HP you have and not how much like so? What it, what what the hell is the name of that mechanic called? It's called the the ones that do the reversal, reversal. damage. Yeah, it's based yeah, on it's based on it's based on the difference between your max HP and your current HP. Yeah, so those dudes at turn four, because there's so much HP going around, they actually do a lot less damage now. <laughs> Just because so many people have so much HP, so unless you, if you're running those big dudes, I don't think you can really run reversal dudes in the same thing. Actually, you, you run both more of them. How you, how's, how have you been uh, doing the team stuff with them? Do you still run reversal at the end, just in case? Or uh, No, I don't. I run um, blue Jotaro in the back now. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yes. run. Uh, so I run Tanjiro Gyu Duo as my leader because they're, they're the best leader. They're stupid. Yes. Um, I run. It, my second slot changes like constantly because I don't know who I want there yet. Um, I think I'm gonna build up Kenshin and put him there. Uh, because he gives the the extra alt bubble. Um, yes. Yes. But I, but right now I'm using Tanjiro because he's already built. And then in my third slot, I am using uh, Tezuka from Prince of Tennis. Mm -hmm. And then in my last slot, I'm using 
part four genre. Yeah, it, it's really made me think of who I want to run at the end. Because actually, the way I've built my team with all the healing, I actually think a reversal dude isn't the one who I would want for the fourth slot anymore. Because I very rarely go below half HP, at, if anything. And the yeah, one time it's, I... it's tough. So, yeah. like, if you're going really low in health, I feel like, and your team is based around healing, you're going to lose no matter who you have in the back. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because they're just they're if they're outputting enough damage to pace with your healing, like you're just gonna get fucked. Like what what are you gonna do? You're just gonna lose. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's something that's interesting that's kind of going on with the game. I'm gonna I'm maybe around anniversary we'll see what they're gonna do. I feel like eventually they're gonna have to just release a dude that deals so much damage that the healing maybe gets a little bit more <laughs> understanding. Negates healing. <laughs> that would be actually the funniest thing ever if it was someone who just straight up said like I says nope to healing for one turn. <laughs> Every time you heal, it uh, actually hurts you. Yeah, <laughs> reversal heal <laughs> yeah, deals as much damage. Uh, that would actually be imagine a unit that said deals as much damage as you heal. How much fucking that you could exploit that by just having three Orochimaru, using Orochimaru, Ice Skater, and, um, fuck, who's the other one? Is Barto the other one? For the 170%? Yes. For the one no, the it's, one uh, it's Sage, Final Six Path, Sage, Naruto. That's right. That's what it is. Okay. Um,. Also, you fuck, fuck you. You got me saying her name is Ice Skater Girl. <laughs> it's it's curious. Yeah, I don't know what her name is, so I just call her that. Sensei is also works, but anyway, very interesting to see kind of where it's gonna go. So Rochamar was one of those who's very much worth getting. We could not hand talk about him in time, so sorry about that. Also, talking about who's not gonna, we are not gonna be able to talk about probably in time. We're almost guaranteed to have a Demon Slayer for when Baruto ends. Um, the reason is is that the Demon Slayer <laughs> anime has been going on if you have not if you have somehow not been on twitter then you don't know that demon slayer anime is getting to the point where he's doing a lot of cool shit and the next event literally said yeah the we're gonna we're gonna get usui for sure i'm sure because yeah. the only thing we know about the next event is that the flashiest man is coming or something and yeah it's it's a hundred percent it's him. it's gotta it, be it's him. i think there was it, one there's, for, there's no way it's not him there was one person who said like um who said to me like hey you know there's some other flashy characters that would fit for it and i said it's going to be the demon slayer character there's no avoiding it the end it, now that the anime is getting to the point where it's like even timed up to the anime perfectly where it feels like i feel like now chimpudi is actually basing itself around like when the anime is going to reach the hype point because there's like well when when's the most sense to drop this character doing cool shit and how about it's around the time this fight is coming to a close mm -hmm. so it's, we're... it's a million percent gonna be that guy yeah 100 percent. he's coming next so gonna be interesting to see what he says uh we'll get to talk about him but for now we'll just know that we know who's coming up next it's just that we're not gonna be able to talk about him in time but speaking about who's here with us now we got boruto this is what he does his ultimate skill is inflict four let me go just to level 12 inflict 522 percent damage to one enemy and if the enemy is deep dps class inflict an additional 20 percent damage at the start of the next turn convert one random bubble to a skill bubble with 15 percent base damage for two turns boost this unit's attack for 13 percent for two turns boost this unit's ultimate attack damage by 13 percent remove one curse from this unit his buddy skill is convert a center bubble to a skill bubble with 120 percent base damage and and boost its blast radius by two convert the left and the right bubble above the center excluding the skill bubble to rainbow for two turns guard 75 percent of all counter attack damage received for this unit unit's buddy for two, for two turns boost the attack and dps balance the special class teams members by 35 percent for two turns boost the ultimate attack damage of healer tank class enemies by 30 percent uh, that is all for his buddy skill and for the passive skill he has boost this unit's ultimate attack damage by 13% the unit is immune to bubble extensions if the enemy is DPS class reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble for this unit by 2 reduce damage received for this unit by 2000 7, 70,000 in tower if the unit is balanced class reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble for this unit by 3 and reduce damage received by this unit by 1000 or 10,000 in the tower. I'm pretty sure that's 10,000. Let me see how many zeros. 1 2 uh, 1 2 yeah, 10 
No, is it is it a hundred thousand? It's a hundred thousand. Yeah, yes. uh, Bart is really good. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, Bartos fucking insane. Unfortunately, he's fucking slamming. He's super he good. He is. Whoa, they've built this boy so. Uh, it's it's crazy because he was good, and I was just like, yes, that is the only way you'll get people to summon on Baruto who do not like Baruto is if you make Baruto fucking insane. Uh, so there is a certain feeling of really him, <laughs> Baruto. <laughs> this is the one. Okay, sure. But he's crazy good. So if you got him, feel very happy about that. Because my yeah, god, he's, this he's dude, bonkers. That dude's fucking insane. What the fuck were they thinking? I know exactly. Yeah, that's another thinking. one of those units that drops, and uh, he reminds me of like the the Momoshiro guy, where he just like drops, yeah. and you're like, what the fuck am I? What what is this? And then all of a sudden, just bam! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, definitely. he's insane. Definitely in that tier. Uh, definitely his, uh, his manga series, at least for us overseas, is more known. But I think it's because of how well-known it is why a lot of people don't like Boruto. Um, so it makes sense for it to make him this crazy good because, yo, Boruto. This is probably also, for the fans of Boruto, one of the very few times that they're going to actually get a Boruto unit. It's actually crazy. There's we talked about this off screen, but there's actually not that many new Boruto dudes in the grand scheme of things. Like they started with an Orochimaru who's from the fucking tuning exams. Like he's not even no, the one. No, that's not the tuning exam. Yeah, one, it is. Because he's got it the is. sword. Uh, if you look the at his art, one didn't have the sword, did it? If you look at the art for him, he's it's his art is literally when he face reveals against the third Okage when he's still pretending. Oh my to fucking be the, god, that's wild. Yeah. Yeah, when he's still pretending to be the Mizukage, that is this is when the this one is specifically, which now makes a lot of sense why fuck? we got the older version of the third Okage, because it's like literally the one where they're fighting against each other and he takes the arms and we've talked uh, about this before. Yeah, but yeah, I don't remember him using the sword against the third, but maybe it was one of those things that was just like, hey, fuck it, give him the sword. He needs <laughs> to have the sword because we already have an Orochimaru in the game and he needs to look different. Yes, exactly. So give him the sword and we'll be fine. Um, but it was weird because when the Boruto stuff started, it's like, I guess Orochimaru is coming. I know he's in the series because his son is, uh, progeny is in <laughs> Boruto somehow that I've not fully ever understood because I didn't look it up. Um, but it turned out it wasn't actually the Boruto version of Orochimaru. It was when he was still kind of a dick, which is why all the villains ca events came back for a little bit as well. Um, so he's one of the very few rare villain ones that return. And, but then in terms of the actual Boruto characters, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. And half of them are banner and half of them are free to play. Even on the, it's even weird because on the Boruto banner where you get like, um, Sasuke, Sarada and Mitsuki, the old Boruto is also featured. <laughs> yeah. Which is weird and kind of sucks because. He's in the the pick a ticket units like yeah. banner, so yes. I don't know. It it just kind of sucks to me to put him on a a big featured banner with new people, it especially does. because the Sasuke is actually very good. Yeah, it, it was a little bit. I quite I like thought, the Sasuke. It's weird because that that Boruto is good, so it benefits someone like me who started a little bit early and doesn't have their Boruto full twelve twelve. But I can guarantee you that most people at this point. If they have Boruto, he's already twelve twelve. Yeah, because like he's so good, like for his buddy skill at least. Yeah. Uh, you've got stones in him by now, mm. so like pulling him sucks. Pulling Boruto really fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. Uh, I didn't get Mitsuki, but I got Sasuke and Sarada mm. and Boruto, obviously. Yeah, obviously you got Boruto. <laughs> I think anytime you say "God damn it," it means that you actually <laughs> went ahead and got the character. Uh -huh. Inevitably got the character multiple times. <laughs> One day you're gonna skip. <laughs> One of these days they'll finally release a series you don't care about, and they're bad. Because the one time they released a unit that was kind of bad was the Chotaro. <laughs> yeah, and you were pulling for him regardless because it was part four Chotaro. Which, to be fair, I do use him now because he's cool. <laughs>
Yeah. He's actually good. He's good in uh, yeah. PvP. I, I, I like feel him. like a lot of people were very harsh on him, but I've actually seen a lot of people. I think in, it's like, because people top. just wanted him to be like unbelievable. But in in PvP, he's good. I like him. How much do you think it was? Was people expecting it to be the Pitter Patter Pop version of <laughs> Part Four? Um, I for everyone that played Pitter Patter Pop, I know that that's what it is. But for the others, I, it could be anything. Yeah. Well, if you're looking for your crazy broken Jotaro, we got part five Jotaro coming up. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it would not be a limited. He would be a well, depending on what part of part five it would be. Uh, part six, you mean? Oh, part yeah. No, no, he's not in part five. He's part six. Sorry. He's Man. he's on part five for like one panel. Yeah, that's enough for people to go like, holy shit, it's a JoJo. And then they go, lies. It's not a JoJo. It's a go-go. <laughs> <laughs> We fooled you once no, it's, again. It's, he pronounces it Giorgio. Giorgio. Oh, that's right. Fucking <laughs> Italian. Italian Giorgio. <laughs> like Italian Spider-Man is just slightly off. It's kind of like the same thing. But anyway, Boruto, if you got him, congratulations. He's really good. If you don't want to try going for him, go for it. But at this point, I would just wait for the flashy man. Uh as I did, because I've been crazy saving. Because anniversary is also coming up, and before anniversary, um, at the end of the month, we're gonna get the Hunter Hunter, and uh, God damn it, just because I'm reading it, I can't do this to myself. The Hunter X Hunter, always pronounce the X. Uh, the Hunter X Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho collab. <laughs> I'm not gonna let them turn me into one of them, Zed. I'm going to always pronounce the X. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they say where they say it's just better to say Hunter Hunter. Fuck you. If <laughs> you put an X in there. It's either Hunter X Hunter or it's Hunter Cross Hunter. You don't get to make the decisions. Um so yeah, it's something to keep in mind if you're saving. But anyway, next we've got uh Sasuke, who you mentioned, who is very good. Let's look what he gets. His ultimate is inflict 450% damage to one enemy, inflicts uh 15,000 fixed damage to all enemies, removes one attack up from all enemies. His buddy skill is convert two random bubbles to rainbow, and for two turns, burst the attack of all team members by 27%. For four, turn, for four turns, boost the attack of this unit's buddy by 46%, and for four turns, poison all enemies for 700% damage per turn. And his passive is reduce the number of turns to weakening for this unit by two, and boost the attack and balance class team members by 12%. This buddy skill is really fucking good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's basically the same as like the Fugo buddy skill, but also it poisons them. Yeah, the the additional poison is really nice because it, it would help a whole bunch. Uh, especially... It lasts the entirety of uh, the PvP round too. Really? That's great. I had no idea it lasts. Yeah, but so for... Help me out with poison if you're someone who does like if it's a poison kind of based team or you just need to deal a little bit more or you have a punisher with that he's really good for that uh real nice what happened to sasuke dude why is he looking so like he looks why like he got the... that awful haircut that that's just a rule with anime characters they just have to get gross he looks like they they have to look terrible like look at naruto's cut man I mean, Naruto's is very bad, but Naruto kind of looks like if you did a um, black haired version of the of the singer from My Chemical Romance during the Black Parade music video, <laughs> you would kind of look like this. <laughs> yeah, kind of. That's the part where it's like, and, and no, no offense to My Chemical Romance, because I like My Chemical Romance, but you got to still admit when you look like that, <laughs> you you look like that. Yeah, that's a distinct look. I do like my chemical romance also, but yeah, that is a a distinct look. One hundred percent. So I'm I'm not one hundred percent feeling it. It doesn't also help that it feels like I'm pretty sure Sasuke's like pushing what like forty at this point. How old is he? Gerard Way. Uh, or yeah, Sasuke. For, uh, Sasuke. Not yeah, not not him. We're not here to talk about. <laughs> Listen, that man's <laughs> eternal. He's eternally 18. <laughs> I'm not going to hear it anymore. I'm talking about Sasuke. Uh, he's 33. He's 33 years old. Okay. I don't like the idea of Sasuke being that close to me in age. That's weird. It's weird to me out. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, his, his look aside, it's really good. Funny enough, though, I've 
you did not tell me this was Sasuke. I don't think I would actually say it's Sasuke. There's something about him that doesn't... Maybe it's the fact that he's... I'm not seeing the Sharingans. <laughs> that he does like... have the Sharingan, I think, in his unit model. I think. I guess I don't yeah. know that for sure. But I he has it he in his like little manga page where I think he's using the the Rinnegan or what is it called? The, the Rinnegan? The Rinnegan, yeah. No, Rinnegan, it sounds like something that Scooby-Doo would say. <laughs> it's trying to say Pentagon, Rinnegan. Um, yeah, really good. And also, surprisingly, not free. you'd think that they would make the the Sasuke and the Naruto free, but now they said you gotta <laughs> you gotta pull if you want this Sasuke. We're only giving the Naruto for free. That's it. In terms of uh, characters that you like from Naruto, but all right, yeah. You've been using but the in... Sasuke is like I. If you play PvP a lot, I would at least think about playing for. So he's not like broken. Like you don't have to have him. But... No, no. Just very nice. Good. Very good utility. And next, let's talk about someone who I think I saw people say, at least one person say, was good in theory. Serata. <laughs> it was the only character I got. So at level 20, uh, level uh, 12, her ultimate is inflict 140% of this unit's max HP as damage to one enemy and inflict 30% reversal damage. 30, uh, 3%, uh, not 33, 3% in the tower. Uh, her buddy skill is convert one block, red, green, blue, and heart bubble to yellow. Remove to one of the strongest attack up for all enemies. For four turns, boost the attack of yellow team members by 29%. And for three turns, if this unit's buddy is attacked, boost her attack by 5%. At a level 12, her passive is boost this unit's ultimate attack damage by 12%. During turns three to four of the adventure before the unit's turn, Charge your legend summon gauge by 9%. Serata. So she's the first person who has apparently this style of ult where it's based off of your actual max HP. So if you actually just have a shit ton of max HP, she can deal a lot of damage. Um, she also has, the, I think, the first unit who's not limited to have reversal. I think that's true. I can't really Wait, she's think. She's not the first unit to do damage off max HP, right? Isn't that just what all tanks do? No, I don't think so. I think this one's the like name because we talked about this before. Is the wording they different or something? The the wording is different. It's based off of HP usually, isn't it? Not HP. It's based off hang of on, healing, isn't on. it? No, no. There's ones that do it based off HP. Really? Who? Yeah. So she does 170 percent like of her max HP. But as an example, Toriko, like oh, the limited one, does 113 percent of his max HP. Yeah, that's just like a tank ult. Okay. Tanks do that all the time. Never mind then. She might be the first about the Spirit Bomb Goku does that too. Okay, my bad. My bad on that one then. She might be the first one to do the reversal who's not limited then. Uh no, there is actually a freebie with reversal. Really? Who is it? Um I I'm ninety percent sure there is anyway. Hang on. Let me look up who I think it is. Yep, Kid Boo. Okay. There's nothing good about the Serratas then. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Um, how do you feel uh, about her? Because I used her, and uh, I think uh, she's absolute shit. Yeah, she kind of blows, dog. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the. I I just don't know. It feels really bad, but I don't think this is a very good unit. This is very few times where <laughs> I've actually said like I think this is outright bad. I think she's outright bad. What the fuck were they thinking? They should have been a free-to-play unit, but they stuck her on the regular banner for some reason. <laughs> maybe she's better in PvE. Maybe that's something where it's like, ah, maybe in PvE she's a little bit better. But in terms of PvP, because that's where I usually see most reversal stuff done, she just doesn't deal enough damage. And the HP stuff, I think it's done better in units like Toriko and um, that Goku. Not for her. She's just like not not yeah. enough bang for the buck. Which nah, is a shame. She's she's, she's bad. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's bad. She's bad. And this is also Sasuke's daughter, so just really I think like to balance out the Boruto, maybe they just made her bad on purpose. <laughs> yeah, Boruto's so good that they're like well, someone has to suck here. Someone has to suck, and you know what? She is technically half a Sakura, and we've also She's turned... half Sakura, so she has to she's the one. She's the one that's going to have to take the bullet for the team. And she does. <laughs> she takes the bullet for the team. Um, 
Yeah, not much else to say about that. I don't have any real, like, hot takes about Serata other than she's a lady version. <laughs> she's the fusion dance version of of not Hinata, because that'd be weird, of um, Sasuke and Sakura. I think it was funny that apparently she didn't think that she was related to Sakura for some reason. <laughs> In the, the Barto, uh manga, where she's like, is my real mom the other one that also has an obsession with my dad? And I think the answer was, oh, no. yeah, I forgot that she thought Karin was her mom because they both wear glasses. <laughs> yeah, it was some <laughs> stupid reason. He's like, I don't want to act anything like my mom. He's like, well, listen, this is a very comp. Wouldn't it be really funny if it turned out Sasuke actually did just like I did like the logic for kid brain. It just did not make any sense. <laughs> Even when I was good, like, why are you thinking this way? <laughs> you're a little bit dumb. And that's why I think you're actually Sakura's daughter. But then, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Does she eventually get, like, the eye stuff that Sasuke does? The Sharingan? Yes. Yeah. I know what it's called, the Sharingan. Uh, does that mean she's going to eventually have to go down the route where she's going to have to kill her best friend? Uh, if she wants the Mangekyo. Hmm. It's real fucked but up. But she's pretty irrelevant, so I imagine she won't get it. Yeah, but what if she just killed her best friend <laughs> real quick? <laughs> just fucking... You want some relevance? Sliced up. Sliced up 100%. That's the craziest thing about the Uchiha is that it's going to be impossible to actually get them to fully repopulate into the land because to unlock their full potential, they need to kill their fucking best friend. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, there's kind of a it logic. Doesn't, it doesn't work out so good when you have to kill your best friend. No, it doesn't. And then also the only person who really holds the key to everything is Sasuke. And he's just not going to, he's a known terrorist. He doesn't really have time to sit down and talk about like, well, listen, the fucked up thing about our clan is this. I think we're in a better place. So don't do this. I don't think he's got that kind of cojones. Also, he's doing a really bad job if he only has like one kid and he's trying to repopulate the, uh, the Uchiha clan. I feel like that puts a lot of pressure on his daughter eventually. <laughs> If he does not have some more kids. Just saying. He needs to have more. But Naruto's had more. He's had two, right? Yeah, he has uh, Himawari. The little girl that just looks like Hinata. Yeah, exactly. He's up there. I'm just saying Sasuke needs to just go back to repopulating. Just have a thousand. A thousand Bring children. back the Uchiha's. <laughs> One way or another. We're, <laughs> we're enacting the ultimate Uchiha plan. Sakura get in position. <laughs> Let's go. And then they bring back the clan. I think that'd be the smartest way of doing it. But yeah, that's all I have to say about Serata and Sasuke is that if it, this is his plan so far, I think his plan is going off to a bad start. He needs to get better at rebobulating his plan. Next, speaking of a spawns I don't fully understand, it's Mitsuki. Uh, his ultimate damage is ultimate damage. His ultimate attack is inflict 450% damage to one enemy until the end of the next turn. Inflict uh, 20,000 bleed damage per turn to all enemies. While the enemies are inflicted by bleed, if you connect one or more blue bubbles with this unit, at the end of that turn, inflict an additional 30,000 damage can only be activated once per turn. His level 12 buddy skill is convert one random bubble to a skill bubble with 110% base damage, convert two block bubbles to heart bubbles, absorb three skill bubbles, recover 100 HP, plus 100 HP per bubble absorbed. Um, for two turns, boost the ultimate damage of blue team members by 30%, and his passive skill is boost this unit's attack by 16%. Before this unit's turn, turn convert one block bubble into a blue, convert two block bubbles to blue in the tower. And that's Mitsuki, and I believe he is the son of Orochimaru somehow? The clone child, I think? Clone child? So he's like a like a, like a a Boba Fett? He's like a young Boba? Yeah, yeah, like a Boba Fett, yeah. Okay. Um, so how is he as a unit before I get off track? <laughs> before I get really um... off track with some of the things I'm about to say? He's all right. He's better than Serata. I think so. I think the way that he's kind of got, I feel like Serata got really the, the worst end of the stick here, but he seems okay. You know, I think he might be a little bit better in PV type of stuff, but um, seems perfectly fine. No real faults that I can see in him. <laughs> that makes me feel angry. Like I did Serata. Uh, so yeah, Zen, did they just not put Orochimaru in jail? No. They just let him continue doing experiments? 
Yeah, he just has a lab in Konoha now. Why? And then, why? Is he cool? Yeah. Is he cool now? Or does he like? Hey. He's he's nice now. Yeah. I'm he's like a homie that. now. Uh, but, forget all that you know. mean shit I did to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be cool. I kind of want to make a son. And I've made a yeah, son. Yeah, basically. He's like, can I just can I just hang out? And that's just what happens. Naruto's like, yeah. All right. Sure. You've maybe killed me, and then at one point you kind of corrupted my friend. But it's all water under the bridge now. Now that I'm president, I'm giving your ass a pardon. <laughs> Everyone gets it. It's really weird. I think when they look back at Naruto's uh, hokage ness, they will look back at the fact that he let go to one of the biggest terrorists in all of Kodaha and let them just kind of be free and be like, okay, cool. No other village does that. Like the water, the, the mist village wasn't being like, oh yeah, Zabuza. If we could bring him back, we would. <laughs> no, they're just like, no. He's gone dead. We would never accept him back because that's what you usually do when someone's like fucked up and evil. But I guess he gets to live and now he has a son. Is there anything like interesting about his son? I assume he's extremely strong because he he's, is Orochimaru's son. He's he's pretty strong, yeah. Is they have like, to make all the kids in Boruto pretty strong to uh, do okay because otherwise they suck. Um, yeah, the, the but yeah. Freak. The power creep of <laughs> Team Seven. You gotta update them, otherwise it's just not gonna make any sense. Yeah, I think that's basically. I just can't believe. I think that's maybe the most the thing that whenever you, as someone who did not read Boruto, the idea that Orochimaru was one still alive somehow and two forgiven for his sins and three also has a son <laughs> is maybe the most like confusing thing of anything. Because at the year beginning, before I thought like uh, before and knowing he was like a clone, I was like, does that mean Orochimaru fucked at some point? Is that what they're implying here? But it's like no, no. The, he did the much more logical thing, which was create a clone baby. <laughs> Yeah, well, just, obviously. no. He's like, no one's going to fuck a snake, man. No. I got to just make the clone. I got to just make the clone, baby. Plus, I always feel weird because I always want to take over their skin, and it always is like a really weird... <laughs> it is a really weird situation. Either no, one wants, either no one wants to have sex with me or I get to have sex with them, depending on what I'm feeling that day. Um, Rujimar is a weird villain. And it's weird to see that he's just a happy-go-lucky scientist man now. <laughs> He yeah, fight? he's like just chill now. He's like nice. Man, that's weird. That is the uh, uh, Barto was written by. It wasn't originally written by the dude who did Naruto, right? And then Kishimoto's shit failed, and he went into Naruto. Yeah, he, that... it wasn't at first, and then he was like, "Shit, I, my manga got canceled. I gotta not look like a fucking idiot, so I'll start writing Boruto now." That's fucked up. What happened to the dude who was writing Boruto? What did he do? Where does he, uh, he is he got fucking booted. He's like, get the fuck out of the way. Do you think he's making a new manga? Uh, not that I know of. Called uh, Horuto, kind of like Boruto. <laughs> Samurai Nine. Oh, that would be the ultimate flex play. He would just actually do his samurai stick, but do it better. Let's do it. That's how I would troll specifically Kishimoto <laughs> from, from Naruto. Let's do it. All right. That's Mitsuki, and that's basically all the banner units. In terms of free ones, we got Naruto with the worst fucking haircut in the world. Absolutely horrible. He's, it's so bad, dude. It's so bad. That fucking cut blows. So It fucking horrible. blows. He's, oh, my God. It looks like someone fucked up his hair. I don't know what, who told him that it was all right. I don't know if he's like slipping since now he's married to Hanada and so and Hanada's a fantastic woman. So he's just like, I'm not even gonna try anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> Would you feel that's what that haircut says to me? Is that I've given up. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done trying. <laughs> Absolutely done trying. I've already bagged the person the person the person I want. <laughs> not gonna try anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna let myself go. That's yeah, what that he looks like. Is, uh, that that's that kind of cut is definitely the person who doesn't go to his kid's birthday party. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, this is the cut of a of a neg- negligent father. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the cut of like a an abusive dad. One hundred percent. He looks like the kind of person who says like, "Why are you crying in the middle of a little league game?" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The one who yells when his son goes up to bat, he just screams out, fuck him up! <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> oh, God. It makes me sad. Like, I'm not gonna look at this chart anymore, but God, is it a terrible everything. Next, we got some guy called uh, Jigan? Jagan? He's the, the spoopy villain of... Yeah, he- uh... Of the whole thing. Yeah, he kind of looks like a... Uh, don't take this as an insult. Uh, kind of like a Bleach character. <laughs> I'm horribly insulted. <laughs> but not like the a main villain. He looks like one of the side dudes. He has that look to him. Like at any point, like he could either be... He's like one of those dudes who goes like, "You're, I'm the greatest, I'm strong, I've trained under the sea for 7,000 years... And then someone says, uh, uh, Bankai Ratio, and he just fucking explodes one panel off. <laughs> like, they build him up for, like, 30 panels <laughs> for 30 chapters, and then he gets one-shotted when he does something. That's what he has the vibe to me, but apparently he just, uh, yeah, spoopy villain. Makes sense. <laughs> like, you took immediate offense to it. Uh, I'm I'm horribly offended still. That was not a satisfactory <laughs> uh, trying to make it up to me answer. No, it's fair. I'm I'm livid. I'm stark livid. <laughs> this is where the the show ends. Uh, I'll go How on. How dare you? <laughs> Let's go on to some characters who don't look anything like Bleach characters because the last two. It's some guy called Ka- Ka- Kawaki. Kawaki. Uh, Kawaki. Yeah. Who's he? Who's this? Who's this fellow? Uh, he is the guy that Jigen was going to stick his soul into. Um, but then he met Boruto and ran away, and now he's like Boruto's adopted brother. Really? Yeah. Okay. So adopted yeah. as in they accept him into the family as well? Yeah, he, they're like, you can live with us. Okay. What's up with his like blonde hair on the sides? Is there a reason for I, that? Just, just edginess. Just edgy. He bleached the sides of his hair? That seems like a waste. Yeah. Does kind of seem like a delinquent when you look at him, though. Definitely feels like the rough kind of sort. All right, put your sail, put your soul into a boy. Sounds like an Orochi Maru type move. Did they go to him first and go like, "This sounds like something you do"? He's like, "Not me, man. I'm a family man now. <laughs> I got a clone son to look after." Yeah, no, he's like, he's like nice now. It's it's weird. I don't understand why he's so nice. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's really just like a homie. Yeah, he's just like a bro. It'd be like if, um, you know how, um, uh, Veg- obviously, you know how Vegeta's like a, a good guy, but he still acts like Vegeta. Like, imagine if between Z and then when we get into Super, uh, Vegeta just did a complete 180 on his character. And he was just like, oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the home. Please come in. Go on. It's been so long. I've missed you so much. How have you been? How's your mother? Fantastic. <laughs> How's Gagara doing? Great. Like he, he turns from, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much that. Like you joke, but yeah, that's kind of what it, that kind of sounds amazing though when you put it into Vegeta. The idea of just like a super good guy, Vegeta, of just like super helpful when he's like, yeah, Vegeta he's just I, like, oh, oh yeah, you need me to like fuck shit up, okay, no problem. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go, Gagarin. I believe in it. You need the powers of the Super Saiyan God. Allow me, the Prince of All Saiyans, to contribute to such a worthy cause. <laughs> The good guy Vegeta is actually what I need in my life now. Like the idea of just him going like, ah, yes, perfection. This is what we need. He's going to fight Goku Black angry. He's like, how dare you (laughs) honor the name of Kakarot? My greatest rival, my greatest friend. (laughs) You're going down. (laughs) Bringing such a dishonor. When he asks him the fusion, he's just super down for it. He's like, ah, yes. Do not feel afraid, Kakarot. That was the old me. I will gladly fuse with you, my longtime compatriot. <laughs> I will fuse with you anytime, my friend. <laughs> anytime? 
Okay, well, we're, we're going to need to do... I've already memorized the steps. <laughs> Let's go, Kakarot. <laughs> I learned it on the off chance that we would need to do this. He's what, did they show clips of him like watching it on God too, <laughs> just in case? Oh man, damn it! Now I kind of want a good guy, Vegeta. <laughs> that would actually make me really like Vegeta, who's just like super supportive for some reason. All right, speaking of uh, super supportive, here's a weird one for some reason: Shikamaru's son, Shikada. Yeah, uh, yeah, she could die. She could die. She could die now. Which fuck, Jesus. Yeah, he's a he's a she could die. Yeah. Keep the shicky name in there. Uh he looks a lot like he didn't get he didn't really get many of the Tamari jeans. He got no. all the Shikamaru jeans. I think the only thing he got maybe was like the eyes. Because his eyes do not look anything like Shikamaru. If he did not look one hundred percent like Shikamaru, I would actually question if this was Shikamaru's child. Because the eyes just make him feel like completely different from, I guess, the the lazy, done with it energy that I associate with Shikamaru. Hmm. Yeah, he he's kind of the same. He like sits around and plays gotchas with Borzo. That's why we have a gotcha event then. Because that's his... why you get the gotcha cards. Yeah, because they play a real gotcha in that world. And his his father is like a common. Yeah. It's fucked up. Well, no, that's that's um that's Shino. That's the guy uh, who uh n- yeah. has the bugs. The bug man. Okay, I thought that was yeah. it. I thought that was Shikamaru in the future. No, if it's Shino, that makes hundred percent sense. He he's not <laughs> I just realized does that mean that's the first Shino in the game? Uh Shino, yeah. The first Shino is a gotcha prize <laughs> in the Boruto event when we have no sh- that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> that's maybe the ultimate diss on him because the ultra rares in that event are the brand new uh Naruto and Sasuke like older. That's crazy yeah. to think about <laughs> like like uh and yeah and Borto's pissed off because he, all the five stars he keeps pulling are Naruto and he fucking hates his dad so he gets all mad about it. <laughs> Does he burn them? No, he has them but he doesn't like pulling them. Damn. And then uh, I think someone else gets a Sasuke card, and he's like, oh, I want that one. I mean, that's understandable. I would feel probably the exact same way. Actually, it depends on the Naruto. It really depends on it. Like, in his pri- uh, the thing I was going to say is that it, who's running this game? Because they seem to have no qualms with adding Sasuke, who, again, I, get, I know is on good terms. He is a known terrorist, though. So it kind of feels a little bit weird to include him in your gacha game for kids. Or maybe it's just yeah. Me. I don't know. It's just it. There's a lot of uh, historical whitewashing in Naruto. Mm, Remember, Obito was the coolest guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> a lot of history uh-huh. erasure going on in Naruto. Yeah. There. Remember when Naruto realized that Obito killed his mom and dad, and he was like, "This is the coolest fucking guy." No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit questionable. All right, fair enough. I won't question any more of it. It is a little bit... It is funny, though. You know, I will admit. Have you also been able to get any of the Naruto or Sasuke's? Because I've been grinding on that event I got for a, a Sasuke. Long time. That's it. Fucking how? I have not been able to get shit from that. I've only gone into It just drops once. Yeah. God, God damn it. Now I'm angry because now I know why they included because they, they realized that we didn't include many events, but we basically included a gotcha in our gotcha. And so if you want like the super special emblem, either I think it's the Uchiha or the something Naruto related, then you're going to have to keep on doing this and pull. Kind of me. Yep. You just got to keep you just got to keep going. It which sucks. Yeah, it, it sucks to have to just keep going. Yeah. But that's it, yeah. That's the the Boruto event. I yeah, hope... it's it wasn't that good. I'm not a big fan of this Boruto event. No, not really. I like that there was a, something called the You Loser emblem, which was just Naruto's old outfit, <laughs> Naruto's kid Genin outfit. For some reason, was the with the special Rasengan trailing training. You got that. I thought that was pretty funny. But other than that, yeah, just kind of a very like ho hum kind of thing it's weird doesn't feel like there's very much 
fanfare around it. But hopefully the people who like Naruto were able to, like, enjoy it. That's the basic thing about it, right? Like, obviously, for someone like us who just doesn't really care about Boruto, I don't think there was any way to really save it unless there was, like... the what the, Actually, the one thing that has been nice, they've been giving a lot of rupees, which is good. Yeah, that's true. They've been really packing that shit in. Yeah, so I'll I'll say for that enough, like, thank you very much, Boruto. That's the way I was always going to look at it as something as to save my rupees. But the fact that they're giving a bunch during it just makes it a little bit better in, in my eyes. It's the way I see things. But yeah, it's a lot of waiting now. We're going to wait for Demon Slayer. And on the 13th, we're going to get the full ticket um, update so I can finally start using my tickets to see if I can get some of the units, some of the new units. I think I got like 10, 10 multi-tickets saved. <laughs> And too many of the other ones. Oh, uh, man. Who do you think it's going to be in the Hunter Hunter thing that's coming? I think it's going to be... Hmm. I think the way it's going to be is that it's obviously going to be Gon and Killua. And I think it's going to be Killua and Yusuke. And I want to say it's probably going to be Gon and Hiei. I think like that... You think they'll the... split them up like they did with the My Hero and the World Trigger one? Or you think it'll just be like Gon and Yusuke, which is like the obvious... I think they're going to split it up because if you put Gon and Yusuke, people are going to say, isn't that his dad? And the answer is <laughs> no. How yeah, dare you? Yeah, it does kind of look like Jing, doesn't it? He does look I just got to the part in um, Hunter x Hunter where his dad is revealed. And I was like, that just looks like Hobo Yusuke. Because <laughs> he's got just like the beard and he just looks exactly exactly like Yusuke. And then they do the... The, the the end reveal shot where it's like he's on top of a dinosaur and then his dinosaur is riding a dinosaur <laughs> and I was like that's a very funny uh reveal that's great um can't wait for him to eventually find his dad and then i can learn why everyone absolutely hates his dad for some reason but i think that makes sense for the two collabs and then in terms of the side units that's the one i just don't i can't really guess have we had a new hisoka or do we have well, a current Ahsoka? I don't think so. Let me look up. If I look up Ahsoka, then obviously he'll show up. I yeah, it's, it's been a while one. since we've had one of him. So I think it's likely that we just get another one. But we might finally get another Liaro. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, one that's not a fucking four star. Yeah, one that's not a four star. Um... Kurapika, I think, yeah, we have, like, two Kurapikas. I think it makes sense to kind of do them. I don't know which one of the villains they could do again. Because, I don't know, Miriam? I don't know. Uh, Merum again? I guess they could. I'm trying to look at who they have right now, and I'm trying to think of, like, who they could potentially do. And I'll say again, I'm not super far into it, so a lot of them are, like, early guys. But it, the ones that makes the most sense to me is, like, the main dudes of Hunter x Hunter. The main characters to me, which are Gon, Killua, Liaro, Kurapika, and Ahsoka. Like, it's those. Yeah. Those are your central. And for Yu Yu Hakusho, I think the thing that makes the most sense is uh, something with Yusuke, Hiei, Kuwabara karama and then if there was going to be another one um i would say i would like a really i would really like a new botan but i think they would probably go for a villain to kind of go with Hisoka. so it'd probably be a yeah new i doubt it's going to be a botan unfortunately no. which is a shame because we need a new botan because she's only a three botan deserves better than a three <laughs> a three that can go into a four give her the her fucking like uh you don't even have to do with like a. Uh, Middle of the arc one. Give us the one from the outfit where she saves uh, Kagome. What what is that? The fucking the the fuck. What the name? What the hell is the name of that arc? The one before the tournament. The Genkai's training or the rescue Yukina. Rescue. I want to say it's after. Has to be after Genkai, because I think he has the, the Yukina one. Now. Then right. Yeah, the UK, no, before you, man, we're going real back. I don't think they even have any characters from this specific arc now that I look at it. The Phoenix guy, Suzuku. Oh, the Saint Beasts? Yes, I think Beast. that's what. Um, I think that's what the non-limited Hie is from. Really? The non-limited Hie? Yes, this is actually from the... Uh, actually, no, because he has I think the, Kurama. I think the first Kurama is from that, too. No, okay, so now that I'm looking at the Hie, he has the... The darkness flame on him, and it's when oh, he's oh, in... so he's the he's from. It might be the very first time he uses it. 
he's he's against the guy who's kind of if i actually just link you the panel i think you'll be able to tell immediately by looking so i'm just yeah, gonna show you the me. panel yeah that's the fight against zero yeah there you that's go. the first round of the dark tournament yes and the Kurama is from. I think this one might actually be the Saint Beast one because this is, I think, the first time he uses the Rose Whip. Show me the panel. Yeah, that's when he's fighting Genbu. That's the wound. Or yeah, 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 Genbu. That's the wound he takes across his chest there, and they're both like, "What the fuck? He can do that?" Yeah, yeah. There are some cool moments from that. It's easily forgettable, though, <laughs> as shown by the fact that I said it's the one between it and you named the Yukina one, which shows Tagoro. <laughs> so, yeah, and even the cool bar we have is from... Um, it's not from Dark Tournament, actually. It's the one from the chap- uh, Chapter Black. Is that the one? Because it's when he gets the super powerful spirit sword, right? The one that can cut through um, time and dimension. The dimension sword? Yes. No. Uh, show me the panel. I can show you the panel. I'm trying to see. It might but actually I, be the I one think from that's the dark I think it's from the final round against Elder Taguro. Yeah, you might be right on that one. Yeah, that's the fight against Elder Taguro. That's Elder Taguro right there in that one panel underneath EA. You just can't tell because he looks like Michael Jackson in the fucking <laughs> manga. <laughs> he does. Damn, I can't believe they made this version of Kuwabara a four. <laughs> that makes me sad. Yeah, like the coolest thing Kuwabara ever did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only other cool thing is when he fakes his death for Yusuke. So Yusuke can get all fucking... He doesn't even get mad. He gets, like, super sad. He gets he enters, like, a new form of depression, and it's awesome. It's all, it's pure raw. Yeah, where, like, you think he's going to have the anime, like, rage explosion, and he doesn't. He's in, like, ultra sadness. Yeah, he enters like ultra, yeah, pure sad. You've never seen such a sad boy. And you're just like, oh my God, this is a, a rage so strong it's made him depressed. Uh, fantastic stuff. I can't, I, man, I am really looking forward to it. Like the, the saving for it, I can't wait to see what they kind of do and who can, who's going to get picked. Uh, I don't, I think it probably is going to be a Tagoro, but to be honest, it's hard to tell because we actually do have two Sensuis and we have two Tagoros, one for his, um, jacked out muscle move and one for when he's like a hundred percent. So yeah, hard to know exactly where they're going to pick it from. If they were going to pick a specific arc, it had to be the Saint. It'd probably be Saint Beast just because there's literally no representation of it <laughs> at all. And, you know, probably for a good reason. Not, it's not everyone's favorite stuff, but. I liked it for what it is. Yeah. It's definitely not peak. I'm not going to say that. It is a little bit slow to go through, but it has some cool moments. Especially in the manga when Hiei just like fucking one shots that guy. Um, Yeah, that shit was dope. When uh, the guy like makes a big deal about how badass he is. Yeah, he's just like, I'm the only. And then he is like, no. (laughs) No. The anime actually does a disservice by making it go longer than 30 seconds. Because they have an actual fight, I want to say, in the anime. But he just, like, one-shots him. And that's actually the fun thing about going through Hunter x Hunter, is that actually there's a lot of that DNA in there of characters just, like, one-shotting characters who have been built up like crazy. Uh, Like, when Killua kills that dude by taking out his heart after he's like, he's the ultimate killer, he's done all this, he's murdered 5,000 people, he's gonna kill, and then the fight starts, and then, like, Killua just fucking, like, grabs his heart... And then he ha- he's like holding it all smug. And then the guy's final words are give it back. <laughs> or I think he says like, gimme. And then he just crushes it right in front of him. Pretty funny stuff. Yeah. Which is fucking dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully I hopefully I'll be finished by uh, the time the crossover comes out. But yeah. For now, we're just going to have to go through some Demon Slayer stuff, and then we will get for the true hype. And then after that, it's anniversary, and then who knows? I want to say there was a character who was revealed, because I actually, uh, we can talk about this now. In the Chinese version, the Taiwanese version of the game, I, uh, forgive me if I'm not 100% sure which version of the game it is, um, where they had silhouettes for some upcoming characters, and I think they showed that... Um, they showed who are probably going to be the units for the crossover. So let me see if I can find that real quick, just so you can take a look at it. I don't know if you've seen it or not. I have not. All right, let me see if I can find it. It's on OCHD, as always. You should always go support OCHD. Doing a lot of good stuff, helping dudes out. 
Uh, let me see. I can find it real quick. I think it was just before all the Baruto stuff. Or it was just like right after. Oh yeah, because uh, in uh, Taiwan they got a new version of Boa Hancock and Smoker. So that was there. That They also oh, got a new right. Musoi. They had like uh, the Hoshi Enji Musoi. <laughs> which is maybe the most like, what? <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's going to be a Muso for us too. Hard to know. Uh, let me see. Oh, I will find it pretty soon. Let me go through it. That's weird. I did not know that Hoshienji would be so popular over there that it would warrant a Musoi. Because I don't think they even have a limited for us over here. Uh, I don't think so, no. No. That's, uh... That's really funny. The idea of, like, not only do we not have a limited, they go straight to Musoi. They also got a brand new Dragon Ball Legend Summon. It's the Kamehameha with Yamcha, Krillin, and Kid Goku, which I thought was very cool. I would love to have that over here, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sending it to you now. Right there. Uh, well, that one's definitely gone. Yeah. The one at the top is Mazuku Yusuke. Hmm. Let me um, see. Um. To the right, I would say is probably Hie. Yeah. Kind of looks like it. Now there is a part. Because I where... think that's a sword handle that's sticking out right there. Hmm. Yeah, I think OCHD has also thought that it, the, the way he sees it is it's gone. Use K Killua and Hie. Those are the ones he can see. Oh, some... that's Killua between Hie and Use K. You see the 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 hair that looks like spiky bits. Oh yes, like yes, really yes, yes. like jagged bits. That's uh, Godspeed Kilua. Hmm. Okay. Then to the left, the hair that goes down and up, like at the far left, right next to that jaggedy lightning looking hair. Mm-hmm. That's Mazuku Use K. The mm-hmm. farthest right bit of the shadow is Hie, and then down below Hie, the one with the face and the nose cut out, that's gone. Hmm. And some of the other characters um, on there are potentially Sabo, who is from One Piece. And I forget if he said it here, but he said maybe for Anniversary what they might be doing is triple characters. Because they said there's going to be like something new coming along. So he, I guess his idea was that it would be a, a Sabo, Ace, and Luffy as like maybe not kids or maybe adults i'm not 100 percent sure i wish i could find it specifically but there was like a lot of stuff there's also some upcoming events that are uh in taiwan that we're not getting it such for example they're getting a my hero academia event and a mystery series before the third anniversary um and a long-awaited legend will also appear as a musoi no idea who it could be. It could be last time they one. said that shit. It was fucking Tanjiro and Gyu. So I'm sure this one's gonna be like <laughs> Tanjiro and Rengoku, <laughs> the long-awaited, yeah, the long-awaited legend. The Tanjiro mysteries. and and it's gonna be Baby Muzan. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, giant Muzan. demon, Baby Muzan. Oh, that would be fantastic. I would love that. Uh, so yeah, very interesting to see. I don't know what's going on, but we'll know a little bit more when the anniversary comes up. I definitely see the Sabo in one of them, where it's, I think, right below one of the dudes. He's like the dude in the way middle that has a very, like, Sabo-type hair to me. Um, The silhouettes are real close together, so it's actually kind of hard to Yeah, tell. there's like a blob right there that you can't possibly tell. Yeah, so I think it's, it's, fair. I think it's fair game for basically anyone. Uh, but yeah that's the main one is that um there's a my hero event coming up so who knows who's going to be the limited for that and who knows when we're going to get it i also wonder when we're going to chances are for valentine's day is when we're going to get this boat this new boa hancock because she's boa and she's a woman so there you go (laughs) i don't know if she would because we already have a limited version of her right i think that's the one we have for one piece right now Boa, yeah the one we have is already limited I don't know if they would just do another limited of the exact same character and have there be two <laughs> versions of Boa, both limited. Actually, I wonder, is it actually? Yeah, it's a new one because it's a different style dress. 
Mm, if there was anyone that would potentially make me summon in between that, it would probably be Boa. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even like Boa in terms of all the other One Piece characters, but I do like looking at Boa, so. There you go, Zen. <laughs> My wise insight into this well-loved character from One Piece. <laughs> all right. Heroic uh, champion character. Oh, yeah, 100%. Actually, there's a really funny scene uh, because she's such a piece of shit when she gets she debuts and then she quickly falls in love with uh, Luffy. And it makes you think like, oh, maybe this is where her redemption is going to start. And no, immediately she like kicks a puppy in the next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good guy now, but she's like, don't think that I've changed at all. <laughs> I'm still the big, the number one bitch up in this place. Don't fuck with me. And everyone says, yes, queen. <laughs> You're right. You got it, queen. I think what she does is actually, it's like a really fucking stupid battle. It's really great. But she kicks a puppy and then she kicks a baby seal. <laughs> like in the same. They were both in her way and she kicks both. Just quickly out of her way. Great character. Fantastic staying into design. I thought it was actually a very funny commentary of like, oh, is that mean she's going to be good? And he's just like, nah, she's still like this. <laughs> she's good. She's the definition of I can fix her. Uh, that's enough for Jupiter. We still ended up talking a lot, Zed, even though we both said like, ah, it's going to yeah, be Yeah, even though we didn't do. talk about Borzo at all. No, there was some other stuff to talk about Jumpudi, so. Um... Still plenty of stuff to read. So I hope you liked it, everyone. If you did, feel free to uh, leave a like and comment if you feel like it. It does help me out. I actually do appreciate the people who leave a like down. Um, for how long this is and for how much you have to put through, it's actually a decent amount <laughs> for like an hour-long thing, considering it is about something that we just both really, really like to talk about. So thanks a lot, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep on doing Shonen it. Shonen Jump be great like that. Yeah, exactly. Shonen Jump be great like that. But yeah, that's about it for us, everyone. So that's the end of Jampudi. Let me start playing up the ending Jampudi song. A.K.A. the song that's no longer an anime opening because I got fucking tired of these uh, anime companies taking me to tax for using thir three seconds of their fucking song. So we're uh, all Yeah, good. that's been happening a lot lately. Yeah, it's a real pain in the fucking ass. Let me tell you. But I do, uh, that's why I had to find a new opening that was not a anime opening for <laughs> the show. Because I got tired of uh, rendering out an hour long thing just to be told, hey, this isn't going to be. The worst thing, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't mind it if I could just turn off monetization all along. But what they instead do is they're like, we're going to put up the monetization instead. And I said, no, because what you're going to do is you're going to ruin the fucking video by having an ad every three minutes and nobody's going to want to watch any of it. And then people are going to say like, damn, Wookie's really fucking money hungry for <laughs> booty. He puts up an ad every three minutes and I'm like, it's not my fault. It's, <laughs> it's these fuckers. They're the ones who want it. And that's why I do it. That's I had to find it. It's about sending a message to them. They don't deserve the money. They don't deserve the 30 cents that I make off this. How dare they? <sighs> That's the end, everyone. <laughs> Till next time. The struggle. The struggle is real. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.